This video is on the top 10 reasons for studying earth science, which is a kind of a weird question I get a lot in my profession is why on earth do we teach this subject, especially in high school? This is the earth science classroom. First thing, earth science includes a ton of different disciplines, including the classics, chemistry, bio and physics, also engineering, robotics and technology. Number two, to increase our knowledge of our natural world, how it functions, how it operates, the processes, the fluxes, and how things work together in one big system. Number three follows on from number two in the fact that the changes or the understanding of the earth, we can realize what the changes are and how this applies to the environment and how we can fix these changes if need be. Number four, Earth science looks in detail at oceanography, hydrology, our water planets, the ocean currents, the temperature, the ocean certification, upwelling, El Nino, weather systems, you name it, the ocean is a fantastic area in which to look at and to study. Earth science looks into or studies soil science and agriculture and agronomy and how we grow through our soil processes and nutrient cycling, soil erosion, irrigation, water, and how we can feed our massive population and make sure everyone has the, amount, the correct amount of food that everyone needs around the planet. Number six, we look at the geomorphology or the landscapes of our planets, the relief, the terrain, different areas of the planet, and in particular looking at the Arctic and Antarctic and polar ice caps and taking ice core samples and looking at climate change and the climate from thousands if not millions of years ago we've been trapped in the ice as ice cores and oxygen isotopes and how we can use this data to branch out and understand more of our planet and the system we live in number seven again processes but this time in terms of the weather the climate the dynamic gas layer that's above our, our surface which has our weather and our temperature and the wind and the rain and all these extreme weather situations and how they're all connected into the system in terms of the solid geosphere with the atmosphere, the hydrosphere, and obviously the income acceleration from the sun. Number eight, so Earth science also looks into the formation process and drilling and extraction of fossil fuels, both renewable and non-renewable because right now our energy needs need to be understood how we get them how we use them refine them how to become more renewable into the future to save our planet's resources in terms of providing energy for everyone in a safe and sustainable manner without harming the earth too much number nine so earth science can look into terrains and landscapes in terms of where how why and when humans actually choose locations to build whether it's historical whether it's based on the terrain or a change of terrain or a certain amount of soil or a certain area where there's rivers for for transport or for food but the earth provides areas where humans inhabit and we can look at that in more detail so Earth science is an amazing subject about all the things on planet Earth, which we discussed through one to nine. Now number 10 is astronomy, again, part of Earth science in terms of looking into space and galaxies, looking into space travel and what we've done previously from mankind, from getting people into the lower orbit, to the space station, to go into the moon, to Hubble, to various unmanned spacecraft like Voyager, to go and seek out new areas of our solar system to understand the sun and going further beyond into our Milky Way galaxy and looking further with a new James Webb telescope. But all amazing stuff and again, all within Earth science. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on Earth science.